This year, South Sudan and the rest of the world commemorate the International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists to raise awareness of the danger of impunity for crimes committed against journalists. Every year since 2013, the day is commemorated on November 2nd to pay tribute to journalists killed because of their work and to advocate for justice and accountability. At least 12 journalists have been killed in South Sudan since 2012 and the murders remain unresolved according to media data. The deceased media personnel included 11 South Sudanese nationals and one foreigner, and most of them were killed by gunmen who were never identified. The incident happened during the country's civil war. The first casualty was Isaiah Ding Abraham, a contributor to Sudan Tribune, Gortong, and Sudanese Online. Isaiah was shot dead by unidentified men in the Gudele suburb of Juba. The second victim of the attack against journalists was Peter Moy, a reporter for the New Nation. Moy was shot and killed by gunmen in Juba in August 2015, according to his family. Another journalist, Paul Joseph Rieth, a freelance journalist, was shot dead in Akobo County of Jungle State, together with two other people. 2015 was the year when South Sudan lost a large number of journalists in a day attack where five journalists working for the state-owned South Sudan Broadcasting Corporation, SSBC, were killed in a road ambush while traveling with state government officials to Raja County. They were Musa Mohammed, Butrus Martin, Dalia Marco, Randa George, and Adam Juma. In September 2016, a freelance journalist, Isaac Vuni, was killed in Pagiri County of Eastern Equatoria State. In 2016, John Gatlwak, a radio journalist, was killed by armed men in Juba inside a hotel amid renewed violence in the country. Late John Gatlwak was the only journalist whose murder case made it to trial in 2018 in Juba, but it is unclear if someone has personally been found guilty of the crime. In August 2017, Christopher Allen, a British-American freelance journalist, was killed in Morobo County, Central Equatoria State. The South Sudan government last month formed a fact-finding committee to investigate the death of Allen. In July 2020, Marco Age Makor, a radio journalist, was killed by a non-gunman in Tonj of Arab State. He was shot and killed on his way to Tonj Town from his home village, according to a media manager in the state. 